This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tammy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day, and we got markets in negative territory to kick things off. You got the S&P trading right at 4,100 on the dot. That's negative by 16 points, or about four tenths percent in the red right now. You got the Nasdaq 100. We're off by about 95 points. That is three quarters percent in the red. 12,986. You got the Dow right now off about four tenths percent. 33,516, negative by about 140 in the Russell off by just two tenths percent. Russell had been in the positive for a brief moment when we came into that opening bell, but not so much anymore. Crude, just hovering above $80, where it's been for most of the week, right? Pretty low volatility week for crude after the spike higher, after the surprise cut from OPEC Plus on Sunday night, coming into Monday morning, 80.47 for the price of crude. Quite a week for gold as well. You start the week off at 1965. You trade up to 2049. Gold this morning backing off a bit, but still well above 2000. At 2019, we jump over to notes and bonds. Giving back some of those gains, but still pretty lofty levels, man. You check out the week we've had. Last Friday, the 10-year was at 114 and change. We make it up to almost 117 yesterday, almost up to 117 again today. Right now, we're at 116.14. We jump over to the VIX, volatility index this morning. 1957, almost made it to 20. Let's jump over to the jobs numbers, jobless claims. Jobs numbers are tomorrow. Remember, non-farm payroll is out tomorrow morning, even when the market is closed. Okay, that number, 8.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Initial unemployment claims for the month of March, 228,000. But the, the bigger story there is February revised upward by almost 50,000 to 246. So what do we got? We got back-to-back -back months of 246 and 228. A little bit of a different story, weakening in this economy. Uh, and boy, you talk about an ADP number yesterday that missed in terms of weak numbers for ADP. We'll see if that transitions to non-farm payrolls tomorrow. But we got uh, initial unemployment claims, 246 and 228, inching up. Hard to deny some weak numbers in the economy this morning. And we get the market reacting accordingly, accordingly with negative prices. Market not so worried about negative uh, lowering interest rates anymore. They're worried about the fact that the economy is lagging and uh, the numbers starting to show it. Stay tuned, folks. Basil did his show is eight, at 8 a.m. this morning. So it's coming up right now. Have a great weekend, folks. Stay tuned. Basil's coming up next. Have a great one, folks.